Hey, it's Thomas here. Today, we are going to ban filter socks from our reefing routine with this here clear DI4 drop-in automatic fleece roller. And that's right, no more washing filter socks every two to three days and getting a bunch of bristle worm shrapnel stuck in your fingers or throwing them in the washing machine and worrying about any residual soap sud from making its way into your socks and then wreaking havoc on your tanks. And I mean like filter socks, not socks socks. You know what I mean. Filter socks have been a staple in our hobby for a really good reason. They trap all of that physical waste as soon as it enters the sump so we can get it the heck out of there. The thing is, cleaning filter socks just sucks. So they don't end up getting clean nearly as often as they should, which should be based on our testing about every three days, meaning all of that crud just ends up sitting in the water and it ends up breaking down anyways, which is why automatic fleece rollers have been steadily gaining in popularity. The thing is, not everybody wants to do hefty modifications to their existing sump to incorporate a traditional style fleece roller or have to go buy an entirely new sump that already has one incorporated. And then there's people who are doing DIY sumps made out of like simple glass aquariums. They probably like a solution too. Clear has a fantastic solution with their DI or drop-in automatic fleece rollers. They're designed to fit right into your sump's existing filter sock section. Or if you wanna make your own DIY sump, you can even pick up a stand that includes a quiet water entry system to make life even easier. They include a quiet and robust motor, optical water level sensor and controller to automatically remove that waste as the fleece gets clogged up. Plus they include a carbon filter to absorb any smells, which is very much appreciated. Also, you can now hook them up to your Hydros controller if you have one, which will help you eliminate the power adapter, give you a new, more adjustable magnetic water level sensor, and also give you more control over how the clear is gonna operate for your system so you can dial it in perfectly. In the box, you'll find the clear fleece roller main housing, the controller, the motor, the optical sensor, the power supply, 25 yards of 50 micron filter fleece, the large gray fresh fleece spindle, the small white waste spindle, two vent tubes, and two optional adapter plates. Clear's drop-in fleece roller comes in two sizes, a four inch model and a seven inch model designed to fit most four inch and seven inch filter sock brackets. We'll be focusing on the four inch in this video, but just about all the features will also apply to the seven inch model as well. First, you'll want to be sure to check the dimensions of your current sump just to make certain that it's going to be a good fit. Measure the filter sock bracket first. The four inch model comes with three interchangeable plates to fit 3.85 inch, four inch, and 4.25 inch diameter holders. The four inch is pre-installed on the clear and will be the one that most reefers are gonna end up using. You'll also need roughly eight and a half inches of space below the sock holder, which should be easy to accommodate since most sumps are designed for socks longer than that. Above the sock holder, you'll need an opening with roughly 4.2 inches by 4.2 inches of clearance, and the filter sock tray will need to be able to accommodate at least one and a half inches of water depth in order to trigger that optical sensor. If your current sump meets those measurements, you're good to go with the DI4. Now, if you have a sump that does not have a filter sock tray, for example, a DIY sump made out of glass aquarium, Clear has a great water entry system that you can drop right in. And not only does it hold the fleece roller, but it also gives you fittings to attach your plumbing to, as well as a flow diverter so you can dial in how much of that water goes through the fleece roller as it enters the sump. Now, contrary to what you might assume, the number of Clear DI4s you will need isn't based on how many sock holders you have, it's actually based on the flow rate of your aquarium. Each DI4 is rated for up to 750 gallons per hour of flow. So if your system is pushing 750 gallons per hour or less through the sump, then you'll only need one. And the extra sock holders, if you have any, can be covered with the clear diverter caps. The caps also allow you to dial in how much water you'd like to bypass the clear if you prefer not to cap them off completely. If you run more than 750 gallons per hour, you can run a pair of clear DI4s linked to a single controller and optical sensor in a mother-child configuration where the second unit operates off the same sensor as the first. How these fleece rollers work is actually really simple. Water is going to enter the filter sock tray, then go around, down, and inside the center of the clear. Then it'll flow out through the sides of the fleece, which is going to trap all that dirt and debris, the uneaten food and fish poop, just like a filter sock would. As it gets saturated with all of that junk, the water level is gonna rise up above the sock tray, triggering the optical sensor. The motor is then gonna turn the fleece, removing the filthy fleece out of the water and replacing it with fresh fleece, preventing any of that junk from breaking down in the water and causing excess nutrients to build up, like filter socks do when you forget to change them after a few days or a few weeks. 
No judgment here. They absolutely suck to clean. I totally get it. Something totally new for Clear's drop-in fleece rollers is their ability to be hooked up to CoralView's Hydros controller. You will need to pick up an adapter to attach the Clear to one of the Hydros drive ports, which will in turn eliminate the Clear power adapter, which is great. You'll also want to grab yourself a Hydros magnetic water level sensor to replace the Clear's standard optical sensor. Once you've done that, you can use your Hydros to control your Clear while also unlocking a variety of extra options. For example, the water level sensor gives you the ability to adjust the water depth that triggers the motor, which can help mitigate false readings in splashy sumps. You can also adjust the minimum and maximum on and off times of the motor to dial it in perfectly to your system so you use just the right amount of fleece every time. On that note, when it does come time to replace the fleece, you can pick up a brand new 25 yard roll of four inch wide 50 micron fleece, which also includes a new spindle for just about 14 bucks. And depending on the size of your system, how much livestock you have and how heavily you feed, it will generally last the average reefer anywhere from one month all the way up to three months or more. So if you're ready to ditch the socks without the DIY hassle and the clear drop-in fleece roller matches your reefing mantra, you can pick one up for yourself by clicking right here.